Guys, good day. Uh, welcome to Philosophy. I'm Tech here. I'm working on Wajak country and I acknowledge the traditional custodians of this land. Uh, this is going to be a different video today because I'm making my way uh, to my computer uh, because I'm going to explore a couple of uh, uh, websites which I think you'll be interested in. So buckle in while I log on. So this is the first website I wanted to show you, uh, Bordon Colombia, which is bordon.com.co. Uh, Bordon is a reasonably new bootmaker, uh, started in Colombia by Andres Silva and his partner Natalia Herrera, a, a business colleague. Uh, it's got an interesting line in boots, and I wanted to uh, show you really um, some of the uh, characteristics of this brand and then uh, what they're offering. So in how we work, for example, uh, they say, it's easy. As you may know, we manufacture our Isidro boots exclusively on demand, which reduces waste and enables us to employ a more environmentally friendly production process. Uh, the environment is very uh, important to Bordon. Orders are opened throughout the year at various periods. Each order period is approximately two weeks long. After this, production begins and lasts for seven to eight weeks until orders are dispatched by DHL to the destination country. Enjoying them will be the final stage. And here are some pictures of their newest release, the Isidro Chelsea, which I'll come back to in a minute. They're opening uh, this at time of filming in about five days. And I think when I, when I uh, uh, put this up, it'll probably be about four, three or four days to go. So let's have a look at the uh, About Us page. And talking a little bit about Bordon, the project started three years ago. The main idea was to address a lack of suitable uh, footwear in our Colombian market by offering potential customers an excellent quality product at prices that were fully accessible to the target market. Uh, they initially made their boots in Europe and uh, import them into Colombia. But then we decided to move to Colombia due to COVID-19 and the European crisis. So we began designing our 100% Made in Colombia collection. And this is what I like. Our primary goals should be to protect the environment, our artisans and our customers. So we want to reduce overpriced stock items and the retail business model at every stage of the manufacturing process. I think this is fantastic. Uh, I wanted to show you some FAQs as well, like where are the products made 100% uh, in Colombia? Where is the raw material from? Uppers and lining leathers come from the best gold-rated tanneries in Italy. Uh, the soles come from Vibram. The insole, midsole and heel block come from the best vegetable tan tanneries in Colombia. So they're trying to keep it local. Uh, the boots are in stitch down construction, so they are fully resolable. Uh, construction of the boots. We manufacture our boots with stitch down, double row and nail down construction. Uh, do you use cork filling? Yes, between the insole and midsole of all our shoes is cork. It also goes into sizing descriptions about how you should wear them, uh, how you should size them. Uh, and basically they're in European sizes. Uh, so what I do is I, I check your uh, Brannock size, whether it's in UK or US, and convert it to a US uh, to a European size. I'm not forgetting to go down a half a size, I think. Um, uh, I find that uh, I go down a half a size from my uh, Brannock size. Um, but if you have any issues at all, you can contact info at bordon.com.co or WhatsApp. Now, let's take a look at the boots. So what they offer, the Isidro is the newest boot that they have, and that's what I'll talk about uh, uh, in a minute. But they started with the Tucano boots, and I've got a Tucano boot, which I have reviewed. Uh, and done an unboxing of, and you can just check my channel and have a look at them. They also do uh, the Juanes boot, which is a plain toe boot, quite similar to the Tucano, except it's a plain toe service boot. But what I wanted to talk about today, because I'm really excited about these Chelsea's, is the Isidro boot. Let's have a look. So these are new releases. That's what's going to be open uh, in five days, two hours, 42 minutes, 
40 seconds and counting. <laughs> um, so they're offering the Isidro in uh, black, uh, in waxy medium brown, in burgundy. Isn't that a gorgeous color? Uh, in a wedge salt in the various leathers and in a waxy dark brown. Now, I believe all of these leathers are available in both the uh, It's Hide Commando Soul, which is this one. I think that's Vibram, Vibram, but I, I, I believe they're going to be offering it in It's Hide as well. Uh, and there is a Vibram Eaton Soul, uh, which is the Vibram version of Daynut. I think with a boot like this, with this waxy suede, you've got to go for those Commando Souls, haven't you? Those Commando Lug Souls. Uh, it's a really beautiful uh, looking leather and with that Commando Lug Sole, really great. And the characteristic red lining of the Bordon brand. So I'm really torn. I'm definitely going to get a pair of these. I, I, I do like their uh, waxy uh, suede leathers because I have a pair of the Tucano in them. But I'm interested in this burgundy as well because, I mean, that is really a gorgeous colour. And... Uh, especially in the uh, Commando uh, sole, uh, it's going to look sensational. But I was torn, not just between those colours, but how about this? The Wedge Sole Chelsea. That's going to be super comfortable, I think. If you have a look at the description, construction, stitch down double row, upper, waterproof Italian wax suede and full grain oiled latigo. Oh, that must be the black. Colors in dark brown, medium brown, and black. Lining is pure aniline Italian calf. Uh, inside and the midsole and this, uh, is the Colombian veg tanned leather. Vibram Christy Morflex outsole with a cork filling, a leather shank, a leather heel counter, and the fitting is in an E-width European. Um, and as I said, if you have any problems with the sizing, go check out uh, what Andres has to say about your size. Here are some pictures, don't they look great? I mean, they're just fabulous. All right, so let's go across to my uh, second website I wanted to explore because this is the second uh, launch of a Chelsea boot. This is by boot brand Christian Daniel. Now, Christian Daniel is started by Christian Ramos and I believe his father's name is Daniel. So the boot brand name is a combination of his and his father's names, Christian Daniel new bootmaker. Um, this is the first boot he's offering. Timeless, functional, comfortable. Let's have a look what this, uh, what Christian Daniel was about. The story of Christian Daniel boots. As a first generation Mexican American born in San, Fr San Francisco, California, growing up was an experience. The city is a melting pot of cultures, ideas, people and fashion. My father Daniel was someone I always looked up to. He could often be seen wearing his signature Mexican-style cowboy boots. New beginnings. Fast forward 20 years, fresh out after a long struggle with drugs and alcohol. Well, that's amazing, Christian. Amazing where you've got to. Uh, fresh out of rehab after a long struggle with drugs and alcohol, I took interest in shoes again. I began buying Jordans compulsively. Not long after, I began noting, noticing my fashion-forward brother Alejandro, are wearing boots more regularly. The initial love and appreciation that I felt for my dad's boots was sparked again. Uh, so I set out my own journey to explore the world of boots, falling in love with the art behind the boots constructed with due diligence. The entire process of building a boot is a team effort and a labour of love. Isn't that just fantastic? That's something to admire. Now, uh, let's have a look at his process and how he does things. So, the way he manufactures boots. Ethically sourced, fair trade for all. Boots built to last. All our boots are Goodyear Welt construction, which provides you, the consumer, with a product that is built to withstand the test of time. Expert artisans, people first. These are some amazing value statements. Ethically sourced, fair trade, boots built to last, expert artisans, people first. Vegetable tanning is the most environmentally friendly method of leather production. You know, this new generation of boot makers have got the right thing in their hearts. It's really something that um, I, I, I'm really excited to support. But hey, we're here for the boots. Let's take a look at the boots. 
So this is the Fernando Chelsea boot that Christian Daniel is launching with. They come in black and maple. Oh, look at that maple color. Um, the Chelsea boot was made popular in England in the early 1900s. And if you've seen some of my Chelsea boot reviews, yeah, you'll see the history in, in them. Uh, they were actually made for Queen Victoria as her riding boots. The Christian Daniel collection, Chelsea, incorporates all of these classic traits while giving it a personality lift. The Christian Daniel Chelsea's 199 last was designed specifically to be roomy in the toe box and the waist while still maintaining an elegant appearance. The Christian Daniel Chelsea also boasts a beautiful welt coupled with precise stitching. I mean, look at that gorgeous welt. And I think it's probably um, stands out a little more in the black boot, isn't that just absolutely sensational? Sorry, um, back where we are with maple. So the components, the construction is 360 degree storm welt, the upper is Lefarc Albratos maple and black leathers. The welt is veg tanned. The midsole is veg tanned. Double sided elastic goring, that's these uh, uh, elastic panels. Natural cork filler with a steel shank. The insole is veg tanned leather. Pull tabs uh, have a rear CD embossed logo. The outsole are from Dr. Souls. Now, there are two versions. The maple has the um, day night like outsole made by Dr. Soul and the uh, the black one has this Dr. Soul uh, half sole which I think that's calling my name. <laughs> um, the website also gives you a fitting and uh, Christian has given his boots and his sneakers and how he sizes it and what he thinks um, you should size if you're following uh, in parallel accordingly. Now, the way Christian is doing it is not through a group MTO. This is his first offering. So he's um, doing a uh, Kickstarter campaign. So if you go to Kickstarter and you search Christian Daniel, this is what you'll get. Uh, and I'll actually put a link to, to it as well below. Um, so it's got the usual Kickstarter campaign. There's a bit about the man behind the boots. Um, shows pictures of the boots. Isn't that just beautiful? what we're doing and he's got the various offers in the in the panels below and what you can pledge and so on. So I really do like these um, two boot makers. They're, they're new boot makers. Uh, they're making what look like fantastic Chelsea's and I'm going to be getting a couple of pairs myself. So get on there guys. I'll put links to these two websites below. So that's it guys. I hope you like the new content of the, of the video today. Uh, go check out those two new Chelsea's. I think they're really something quite exciting uh, from Bordon and from uh, Christian Daniel. The, I put the links below as well if you want to go through it that way. Um, and hey, don't forget to click on like and subscribe. Uh, so stay safe guys, buy boots, and I'll see you soon.